Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Welcome to our new project. Uh, it's not real big this time. We're doing a landing and stair set for a client to get them from their existing deck down to the concrete near their hot tub. So um, if you happen to like what you see or learn a little something today, please click that subscribe button. It means so much to us. And if you wanna be notified every time we're putting out fresh content, click the bell icon as well. All right, so lots of planes uh, going around here and it's also raining, so just uh, be patient with us as we go through and try to film and, and get things together for you. So uh, what we're doing is we're building a landing that's gonna be the deck, one step, and then the landing, and then there's five steps going down to the concrete. So uh, the client just came out and verified that they wanna actually make the stairs land to the concrete. So we're gonna have to extend this side of this landing, make it bigger so that that works. So uh, that's just something that we're gonna be working on to figure out today. Um, hopefully we get concrete dug and poured, get our holes dug and our concrete poured today. But before we can pour concrete, we have to frame this landing up um, and we're just still getting things we're down a man today so we're just starting to get things unloaded and settled so uh, it's a little bit of a slower day for us today good morning calvin All right, so we have some tools set up, we're ready to go. Um, we took some fascia off the existing deck and what we're doing is we're building a lower landing. There's gonna be this deck, one step, the lower landing, and then five steps going off to this concrete over here. So what we're gonna do now is I'm going to level down and I'm gonna install a board that replicates this right here so I, I can have something to build my frame against. Uh, we're gonna build this frame right on the ground and then we're gonna elevate it once we pour concrete. So to do that, um, I have to replicate a straight edge so I can start building my frame. So I'm gonna install something on the ground that is in the same plane as this and then I'll be able to build this to down, down below. It'll make it a lot easier for us to build. take a board and go this way and... quick tip um, when you guys are trying to figure out a 45 we have big squares that do 45 degree angles but sometimes you need an interior 45 so I just cut a piece of 2 by 12 on a 45 degree angle and then it gets me in the neighborhood like very close uh, to what I need to be for 45. We can do this with math as well but sometimes it's just easier to make yourself a jig and the bigger the, the wider the board the more jig you'll have so the more accurate you can be so uh, just something to think about when you're when you're out building decks. Just like so right? Yep just like so. Just like so. So we just had the homeowner come out and we're making a slight edit to our design. Uh, we just had a rain delay so we were able to just sit here and talk with the homeowner. And instead of bringing this a full five feet from the point, which would have put the deck way out here, he wants it more enclosed inside of this um, the curve. So we are making this a three foot. We're gonna square off this point and then we'll be able to square that side off and then that'll be the size of our landing. Yep, inside. Now kick that over that way a little bit. Sure. It's not really that straight, so we're gonna have to. As far as is that too much. Hot gas? I don't know. Excuse me. Waiting. Waiting. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Got airplanes flowing, man. Can you hear it? 
All right. So anyways, I um, wanted to show you a couple things. I've got this Metabo HPT reciprocating saw and this um, Diablo, um, it's like a, it's got carbide teeth. It's called a Demo Demon. And this is a nine inch pruning blade for fast work. And I like to use these type of blades uh, when I'm cutting uh, rough cuts and framing because they work really fast and they dig right through things. So um, I just wanted to show you how I make this cut with this blade. This is a brand new one, so it should cut really well. Here we go. Oh, um, always wear your safety glasses. like that because we had to have something accurate so that when we elevate this landing we can we can assume that it's going to be the same on the same vertical plane as this one all right guys thanks for watching so we're just getting kind of started on rolling how to uh, frame up this landing but tomorrow we're going to pour concrete we'll get the rest of the joists in we'll start actually building the staircase and finish framing in the inside of this uh, landing uh, thanks for watching i really appreciate it uh, if you like what you saw or you got something out of this video, please click that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified every time we're putting out new content, click that bell icon as well. Thank you very much. Have a great day.